Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your um, current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now, let's take a look here. What's going on? Am I a stretching post? All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Wands, just waiting here and look at this guy, it's all tied up, not leaving anywhere, just sitting in this energy and yeah, I'm just going to sit here and wait because I don't have a choice because I'm all tied up. So there's waiting here involved. Um, in the recent past, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. I feel like you went from this um, caring, nurturing, kind of like fulfilling a role of the mother, the the caretaker, the you know, it's kind of looking like that. Like you you were putting this energy, but not into yourself that much. Like for others, you were taking care of others, um, and then the energy flipped into you going within. And thinking about things deeply. Thinking about possibly for once um, you, yourself. Let's see. In the current situation, you get the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Magician. Trying to manifest love. Trying to manifest mutual love. Trying to manifest that kind of love where you love somebody and you're a hundred percent sure every pore in your body tells you that this person feels the exact same way you're trying to manifest that the problem is you're too much in your head about it you know you may not know how to bring them into your life or things like that you're very stuck in your mind here um in your immediate future you get the star the five of wands and the six of swords what it is that you thought you wanted turned into conflict, disagreements, fights, all, all everything at once. And you're like, none of that. I don't want any of that. I thought I wanted this. And maybe I did at some point. I don't want it now. You know, um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the two of wands. The Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're showing up a lot under feminine. A lot of feminine energy is coming in here. And that's not to say that you're a female. That's to say that you're taking care of a lot of your nurturing side here. And I feel like there is somebody here for you that's very important in your life and you want to get to them. You just don't know how you're struggling. Uh, something it feels, it almost feels like something outside of the both of you is keeping you apart. At least that's how it feels to you. Like there's always something coming up that's preventing you from going to this person or them from coming to you or things like that, you know? Um, let's see this Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what changed and turned you 
to you. The Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Four of Wands. I feel like there's a connection here, possibly a marriage for some of you, where things weren't that great. I feel like you, you felt stuck in this for some reason. And not only did you feel stuck, but you were also feeling, with the Nine of Swords, they're unhappy. You know, so uh, you probably reached that point where you were like, okay, well... I can sit in this energy for the rest of my life, but is it going to serve me ever? You know, I feel like you compromised a lot when it came to this and now something sh shifted within you. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to subject myself to this. Why would I? Because you finally started to think about yourself. I think that's what happened. Um, let's clarify the Hermit. In the recent past, you get the Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Hierophant. Yeah, marriage shows up again here. And a lot of you trying to make this work, a lot of you both trying to make this connection work, whatever it was. But there's too much conflict here, too much misalignment, kind of like two people that grew apart or that are realizing they never had anything in common, you know, it's kind of looking like that. Um, and you're taking all of this information and putting it there inside of you where it belongs and you're sitting on it. And you're really giving it a thought right now, a deep thought. Should I stay or should I go kind of thought. Let's see the Queen of Cups in your current situation. You get the Two of Wands, the Tower, and the Three of Swords. Something's happening here. I feel like this person that you're waiting on is um, outside of this situation that you you dealt with in the past. Um, but it's coming in in the present here, this person that is attached to you. They're not coming in. What's coming in is your realization that you might have waited too long. And it's hurting you because you're realizing that there's a lot of love there that you're carrying here for them. Let's clarify the Two of Swords. The Seven of Cups, the Moon, and the Three of Cups. See, you're thinking about coming back together with this person in love. However, the way this is working out for you, so you're thinking about making this happen, right? This reconciliation. However, you being a Gemini, um have a million of thoughts in your head about how to do this how to make this happen a million of them and those place you here in this position of not doing shit about it because instead you have all of these options to go through i mean that's a long time too i mean you know for some people it's their whole life that's a lot a lot of time to to go through all those options a million But you know what I mean. Stop overthinking things. If you feel like doing something, just do it. It doesn't matter how. You know? See? He agrees. Okay. Let's, do you have something in your ear? Yeah, you do. What's in your ear? Come here. There's nothing there. Let's clarify the magician. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Swords again. You're unbelievable, you know that? So you're manifesting this love. You want this brand new beginning in love. You're manifesting. You're like, yes, I want it to happen. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. You know what's happening after you do that? The Two of Swords again is happening. You get up here again like, oh, but uh, how do I do it? What did I just tell you? Just do it. Doesn't matter how. The house are not important. Um, let's clarify the star in your immediate future. The six of cups, the emperor, and the seven of swords. 
You're not doing it out of fear, Gemini. That's the problem. Fear of rejection. You're afraid that this person is going to reject you. All right, so let's say that they do. Is it better to live like this in the uncertainty, in the unknown? Is that how you hang on to them? Isn't it better to just know? Oh, Gemini. I got to have a, a little talk to you, with you, Gemini. Let's clarify the five of wands. No. <laughs> you get the six of swords, the page of pentacles, and the three of wands. There it is. There it is. Uh, getting out of this conflict, whatever conflict it is that you're having, and I feel like the conflict is mostly with yourself. Uh, you're walking away from that. You're 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 gonna give this a break. You're gonna give yourself a break, and I feel like you're uh, gonna work on something here. Which you know, with the Page of Pentacles, this is a brand new freaking energy of trying to figure out new ways of doing things and shit like that. And I feel like you're working on that instead of just creating this whole conflict that's you with you, you know? Let me clarify the Six of Swords. The King of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come out of this energy of feeling abandoned. Somebody wants to, and I feel like it's your person. But I don't know. I mean, I feel like they wanted to come out of this. I feel like they wanted to patch things up. I feel like they wanted to be with you for a very long time. Right now, I feel like they're not trying anymore. I don't know if they still want to have anything to do with you, but they're not trying anymore. So you're not feeling their energy as if, oh, please, let's get back together anymore. They, they're they walking away from this kind of energy of wanting to fix this. And not to fix this, but to come towards you. Maybe they still want to fix it. I don't know. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. Do not let your mind win here. It's a battle between the mind and the intuition here. Somebody's going to win. One of them is going to win here. Usually this appears when the intuition wins. Because if you feel glad that you feel entrapped and that you feel that your mind is your best friend, then you're wrong. So I feel like your intuition is going to win here in the end. Do not let yourself get in this here. I know it's your favorite place, but get out of it. Um, you know, it doesn't bring anything good in the end. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.